hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's the first time joining the family hi my name is nombu sokoza please don't forget to subscribe like comment and hit the notification button and if you are a returning sabi welcome back thank you very much for the support i really really appreciate it so today's video is about the matriculants of 2021 i'll be sharing with you guys everything that i think you guys need to know whether you made it or you didn't make it so yeah i have a flu so you guys will have to forgive me so before um i start okay good i'm seeing though so you guys will probably be disturbed but it's something that i cannot control so please bear with me okay so before i start i would like to say to the matriculants of 2021 congratulations to everyone who made it um this is a start of a new journey and um it requires you to be strong it requires you to be independent but most important it requires you to never give up because for sure from today going onwards you are going to be tested but um do you give up or not and if you don't like your results or if you didn't make it there's always an option and there's always a second chance in life this doesn't mean that you have failed in life that doesn't mean that you must give up it means that you must go back and ulungise before you um continue with your journey so to the matriculants of since one who made it congratulations and to, and to those who didn't make it it doesn't matter you always have a second chance in life so yeah so today i'll be sharing everything that i think you need to know as um someone who made it or you didn't make it so i'll be sharing everything that i think you need to know okay so if you made it if you passed and your results are, are making you happy if you are happy with the results and if i'm um points are cool you are happy with your points um okay <laughs> um <coughs> if you are happy with your points if um you are happy with your results and now it's time for you to go to varsity you need to know listen to lazy and for sure i'll leave something out but um i'll try to uh tell you everything i think i think you need to know okay so first um you might be accepted or your NSFAS might be approved but um so whatever city you are still waiting for um your result uh you're still waiting for acceptance letter what you need to know and what i think you need to do for good to get you need to call the university um and ask about your application whether it's being processed um or what's going on but you need to know what to get um with your application form because you might find out that um they don't approve you but they don't tell you or they don't send you anything to tell you see your um your application has been successful or not and what they normally do and what i think it's what they do with what i've seen or what they get will send you um a message or an email telling telling you that your application has been unsuccessful later so it's best to know um your application is being processed what's going on with that so that you can be able to do a late applications so that you can be able to know see okay fine if they don't accept you what is your step from here moving forward so yeah then if maybe your application has been um successful but your nsfas um they haven't approved you okay so talking from experience this is what happened to me um when i was doing my first year i got accepted in university but um nsfas didn't approve me and um i kept calling oh, it's okay fine what's going on why are you guys not accepting me why are you guys not approving me because some people are being approved and what hurts was that people who i sent the application from with they were approved around May, uh, around march around february so what i think you need to know would see 
if you are really going to varsity and and this person hasn't approved you it can either you can either be approved um towards the year maybe march maybe april june july some somewhere there and you can also not be approved and be approved the following year so those are the things that you need to know and those are the things that you need to be prepared um so what i wouldn't okay i don't know what see it will be up to you what you want to do it will be up to you if you are going to use your own money for registrations <coughs> as i said i have flu it will be up to you whether you want to use your own money for registrations or um you want to wait for any spots but as i said they can accept you around may around june so Mina, I used my own money for registrations. And when you are using your own money for registrations and the Tolu Wutsum Club towards um the year they accept you, you will have to claim back your money. You are allowed to claim back your money and they're gonna give it to you. So that's one that that is one that is minus one trouble. Okay. So yeah. Um but be prepared. Or would see you might be accepted or no your interests might be approved or your interests might not be approved so you need to talk to your parents about it um was would see what's this well like what is the step moving forward um are you registered uh, are, are you going for your registrations using your own money or you wait for NS or, or you wait for NS first you need to talk to your parents about that but um just know that you can be approved any any day, any month, um, any year. <laughs> and also, if um you don't have any spas, this is one thing I always tell people: if you don't have any spas, and your family says we we'll see you are going to varsity, they're gonna pay for your registrations, they're gonna give you <coughs> monthly allowance um oh, yes just don't put pressure on your parents don't put pressure i remember in varsity first year my mom used to give me 700 for food and to her it was just for food but um she didn't know that i have other things which is um clothes um takeaways obvious you cannot eat so good look piggy every day you, sometimes you just need to eat takeaways na, na, na. no she didn't she didn't understand that because um all she knew was that if i sleep that is all there's uh that is all there's in, that is important so i didn't put pressure on her because i understood that um she was really really struggling so i used to accept that money and i used to leave um Galo Mali the whole month i was fine i got distinctions at the end of the year and um you know she really made sure would see as much as things are messed up but um i slip um gizile and i i pass so as i said don't pressure your parents it's really hard. Don't pressure parents. It's really hard to pay for tuition fees, to pay for residence fees, and on top of that, to give you a monthly allowance so that you can eat. So yeah. Then, let's come to those who passed, but they are not happy with their results. Uh, maybe you got high certificates, or you got diploma, or you got batch, uh, is it bachelor? Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't know. I forgot. I think I got. Maybe you got bachelor. It's either bachelor, diploma, or high certificates. Some people, they do get bachelor. So the bachelor is not um the one they were expecting, or my um, points that they have, my um, points that won't, um, send them to where they wanted to go so you can pass and not be happy with the results it's normal you have two options 
you have two options if you passed and you are not happy with the results you have two options the first one is to write december which is called supplementary exam um is it called supplementary no it's called upgrading it's called upgrading um then you can write march or june it's called supplementary exam or you can go back to school there are three options for someone who passed but they don't like their results for me what i would recommend is for you to go back to school i have my reasons <laughs> i have my reasons why i'm saying that okay fine you're supplementing right you are writing march or you are writing um june fine when you are supplementing you only concentrate on the paper that you are going to write which means that there is no cast mark there is no um any mark that will boost your exam mark the only mark that you will get in your certificates matrix certificates or matrix statement as the results your exam that you are going to write either um march or june okay for an example um let's say you're writing june obvious one thing about writing june or writing um march is that no one is gonna teach you number one you gonna you're gonna find ways to teach yourself no teacher will be in front of you to tell you how to do this how to do that to um to explain notes or anything you're gonna study for yourself at home then you're gonna go right on the dates that you are given so the um the results that you get on your exam whether it's 40 whether it's 30 whether it's 28 whether it's 60 those are the results that are going to appear on your statement metric statement so that's why i said i don't recommend it because there is nothing that is posting your exam mark you only get what you got on your final not final on your supplementary exam okay and also the second option which is upgrading i also don't recommend it because it is the same as supplementary exam no one is teaching you no one is correcting you no one is here in front of you to tell you how to write and how to, uh, and how to not write no one is here to tell you or to correct you when you make mistakes you study for yourself at home then you go on that date also to write and also there is no mark that will boost your final mark you the, the mark that you get on your um december exams are the marks that will appear in your statement so um for me i don't recommend that i only recommend that to people who know who would see they want to be able to afford um extra classes they're gonna be out they're gonna be able to afford to pay for um someone's gonna teach them you know then i i highly recommend it but if you you know would see you're not gonna be able to um afford paying someone to teach you um before you go right then don't because you will dismally fail or you will get marks that um that you don't like again and one thing about me i remember on my um physical sciences i got something something level two then i think it was 36 or 35 that's how much i failed physical sciences and when i decided to upgrade i got 35 percent that's how hard it is. That's how hard it is. Worst part, I was attending. Um, I was attending classes. I was paying someone to teach me. I was um, attending upgrading school. You know, I was doing everything. But still, the marks that I received 
were not the marks that I wanted. But I understood what's again. Maybe that's the maybe the reason behind that was because there was no kiss mark and there was no um nothing that was boosting my final mark. So hence why I'm saying I don't really recommend it unless you know that you're really, really gonna do it. When you know that you know you're gonna pass when you when you know, Uzi, you know, but when you know, Uzi, you are not someone who, um, who, who can't learn alone or who can't study by themselves, then don't, don't. Okay, then the last option is going back to school. I went back to school. Today I have a degree, honey. I have a degree today. Going back to school as an option that I recommend. I recommend it. I, rec I, you know, I recommend it. You know, it doesn't matter, even though maybe you got um, 70 something for math, for English, you got 80 for Isuzulu, you got blah, 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 blah. You can, you can still get that if you go back to varsity. You can, like, you know, guys, I'm being honest here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish, I, like, I don't know, we'll see, what am I going to say that will make me um, convince you how, how it is important to go back and correct your mistakes by going back to school. Um, I remember, as I said, I used to get, I used to, I remember I used to get 15% in maths. I used to get 20% in maths. Like, those were the marks I used to get in high school. But I went back to varsity. I mean, I went back to school. Um, and when I went, when I, when I went back to school, I, okay, I went, to, I went back to school after upgrading and failing. When I went back to school, I meant, you know, I, I even can't believe, you, you know, when you just don't believe, when you don't believe what that is you. When I went back to school, I used to get well, my level 5, level 6 in mathematics. I used to get level 5, level in physical sciences. And, you know, it was something that I never thought I'll be able to do it. But I made it. And, you know, I was so proud of myself on that year. I was so proud of myself. From someone used to get level 1 to getting level 6, level 5. You know, I was so proud of myself. If you can look at my statement today, you even now me today, I don't believe what that is my metric certificate. I don't believe that it, that is my metric certificate because when I have to compare my first metric uh, certificates to my second one, I knew, not that I knew, I don't believe would say that is me. Okay, so I highly recommend someone who would say abuele is calling. She will. Number one, you're going back to school. You're going to go to school every single day. There will be a teacher in front of you every single day. Um, you'll be able to do groups, um, group, 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 um, study groups every day. You know, like there's a lot that you benefit with going back to school. And um, at the end of the day, your marks. I've never, I've never heard someone going back to school. I see, I, I didn't make it. Oh, my marks doesn't make me happy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because when you go back for the second time, and you already know the feeling of um getting results that you don't like. So obvious, your focus is making sure that you don't repeat the same mistake. So. Yeah, and when I was when I went back to um when I went back to school for the second time, I was I was sitting with people who got who got fifties, who got sixties, uh, um, who got bachelor, and um, they were not happy. So you know, it was it was all of that. It was all of that. But we knew what we wanted, and we knew who was he. Um, our main focus should be way so that we don't repeat the same mistakes. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, if you 
didn't make it as i said it's not the end of the world um you are still given a second chance if you didn't make it and your results they are not good i don't wanna i don't wanna say this but they are not good don't take an option of upgrading or supplementing just go back to school because if maybe you didn't make it and your results um 30 percent 20 percent you really need someone who's going to be in front of you each and every day um and teach you you need someone who's going to be who's going to guide you and um make sure we'll see you are doing it the right way and also there's something that they didn't say on um gulaba and say when you passed but you are not happy with the results when you go back to school um the marks that you get term one term two term three they are boosting your final mark I, we, we know that we know that so that's the that that's another benefit of going back to school okay so if you didn't make it please go back to school your first mark your second term mark your third term mark will boost your final year mark and trust me going back to school we can see it as um isazo or abantu bazothini or kanjan kanjani but ekuneni you are doing it for yourself you are doing it um for your own future because as much as people talk they will never pay your bills they will never buy you a car they will never buy you a house they will never do anything that needs money or anything that needs soft life you are like you have to give it um you have to give yourself lots of life layers. So whatever decision you make in life, make sure you see I don't know. Okay. And um another thing Uzige, there is no shame in going back and correct your mistakes. There's no shame in um in taking a step back and do the right thing if it was a shame you wouldn't be where i am if it was a shame um you you wouldn't have gotten our degrees at the end of the day i have a degree i went back to school i have a degree any degree i have no distinction okay another thing that i forgot to tell you Oguti. as i said i used to get 30s i used to get i used to get level one in mathematics and in physical sciences today my degree um i have a major in maths that means i have a major or oh, i i majored in maths um and i'm a qualified mm -mm -mm, with mathematics to think of it I never thought would see um I'll be able to one day be proud to call myself um Umuntu who is um majored in mathematics because I used to fail it. So I couldn't it's about you, it's about what you want, um and it's about your future. No one is gonna give you what you want in future and no one is gonna pay your bills as i said before so don't forget to um don't forget that whenever you think um about so yeah guys i hope you guys will like this video i hope i'm not forgetting anything though mm. No, I think I'm not forgetting anything. And um, another thing, Komna University, Kapila University. I could have none then coming back after four years with a degree. You know, seeing your, par your parents being happy. Oh, it's okay, fine. I made it. Oh, it's okay, fine. 
my my daughter my son made it there's nothing um exciting or m nandi jungo bona umzalaku i can so yeah so if um i didn't mention anything you can ask me on my um you can comment down below and ask me i will answer you and i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye